What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another anime news bit. I'm gonna get you guys fully caught up on the anime news today. We have pretty much the schedule for Mushoku Tensei Jabba's Reincarnation's second season has been laid out. We got some updates for Pluto as well as other premiere dates. Laidback Camp is changing studios and a new original esports anime is coming. So if you're interested in any of this news, definitely stay tuned. Let's get the important news out of the way. Let's be honest, it's the most important news out of all of it. Yes, the official website for Mushoku Tensei Jabba's Reincarnation has announced its schedule. And yes, I'm sorry, once again, leaks are wrong. Don't believe leaks until you have an official source. But yes, it is going to be running for two split cores, kind of similar to the first season. The first core is obviously starting now, and it will run until September. And the second core will start next year in April and run through June. So yes, that is a total of 25 episodes, not, what was it, 50 or something like that, according to the leak. Again, people, don't believe things until you have a source. But yeah, either way, this is what most people was kind of predicting, this kind of adapting probably volume seven to 12 and probably being a split core just like the first season. I'm excited for it. It's probably gonna leave on a very heavy note, but we'll see. I mean, it's expected. A season finale, you want it to end on a heavy note. <laughs> but yeah, super cool. Definitely excited for it. Already really enjoying the series and I'm covering it every Sunday. So if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get my coverage of it. Moving on from that, we have Netflix has announced at Anime Expo. That's pretty much our last, I think, thing from Anime Expo that I'm going to be covering. But yes, Pluto is going to debut on October 26th. So definitely a series that I'm excited for. Also that it's going to be eight 60 minute long episodes. So pretty hefty. I mean, it's technically still in the range of a single core, but actually lengthwise, they are full 60 minute episodes, which it's on Netflix. So it should be full 60 minute episodes. There's no ads or anything. I mean, it's probably more in the range of like 15 or so episodes. So pretty hefty season of it. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. Every trailer that I look at of it looks good and good and better and better and better. For fans of Silent Voice, if you happen to be in Japan, in Tokyo, around October 4th to 8th, Kodansha has announced that a Silent Voice is getting a musical that will be at the Sunshine Theater. So, definitely interesting stuff there. Honestly, I'm not really sure how that would work, but at the same time, really love the franchise, so that would be a really interesting one. Hopefully, maybe they release a video version of it later. Moving on, the official Twitter account for 365 Days to the Wedding has announced that it will be airing on television. So I think before we had the announcement of it, but we really didn't have a format for it. The assumption was going to be TV anime, so there you go. This is the one that follows co-workers who at some point their company they work for is wanting to send some staff to Siberia. <laughs> but they only want non-married employees to go there, so this guy pretty much like, I don't want to go there, so let me just hook up with my co-worker here. And they start to kind of learn more about each other and maybe love blossoms. I don't know. Definitely a cute concept there, and that's definitely what I'm looking forward to. Moving on, the official website for the Apothecary Diaries has released a new PV and announcement of an October premiere. I could not be more excited. This one looks, oh, it just looks so gorgeous. This, sh this show looks so stinking gorgeous. I cannot wait for it. They also released a visual for it, but yeah, I cannot wait for this one. Like I said, the the PV is stunning, plus you have Aoyuki is going to be playing the role as the main character. Ugh, I cannot wait for it. Moving on, the eSports stuff. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. TV Asahi has announced a new original TV anime, Irani Protocol. It's going to be set to premiere in October, and the youth drama centers on the world of eSports. Shun is a second-year high school student who started working at the eSports cafe Fox One after his father's accidental death. However, it come to light that Fox One is in a considerable amount of debt. In order to repay this debt, Shun and his friends will enter Zaxerion Zer Zer Championship, <laughs> a tournament to win the prize. So there you go. It looks like it's going to have a lot of slice of life and stuff in there as well, not just like let's play gaming. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that one. Moving on, Katakawa has released more information on mysteries, maidens, and mysterious disappearances. This includes main cast and a 2024 premiere. So still got still got a ways to go for that one. That really stacked anime. <laughs> Staff for the TV anime, You Were Experienced, I Wasn't, and This Is How We Started Dating, has released a new promo video and an October debut. Also, they announced that Maya Uchida will be performing the theme song for it. So definitely another one if you're a big fan of Gyaru's. Keep an eye out for that one. And next bit of news, the laid back camp information. Yes, during a live event, it was announced that the third season will premiere in 2024. Not only that, but 8-Bit is gonna be taking over as studio over C-Station. 
Now, I've seen some mixed comments about this whole sh uh, transition. Honestly, for me, 8-Bit has done one of the best laid-back camp type of series besides laid-back camp, and that is Encouragement to Climb. And that show, with its backdrops and visuals and everything, is gorgeous. So, if they're taking over from Sea Station, I'm on board. So, definitely still excited for that series. Moving on, the official Twitter account for Dropkick on My Devil has announced that Apocalypse Arc, which of course is the, the spin-off series, not the new season that's going to be coming as well, will be airing on December 26th, so I'll be definitely looking forward to that one. Always love my drop kick on my double. It's just a dumb, goofy show that I enjoy, so looking forward to it. Hopefully we get more Kute. Moving on, an official Twitter account was open to announce the adaptation of The Fable. And the studio for this one is going to be Tezuka Productions. No other information really for it at this moment, but definitely stay tuned for that one. The synopsis is when you're a famous genius killer hitman, The Fable, many things come easy. Being a normal person, however, isn't one of them. In fact, being told he can't kill anyone for a while may just be the hardest job he's ever taken. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, I have Im images of uh, Way the House Husband or something like that, but I don't know, maybe he's going to become a husband. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so, but we'll see. Some exciting news for fans of Shangri-La Frontier. The official Twitter account has announced that it's going to be running for two consecutive cores. Of course, this is a series that's going to be starting in October. They also released a new PV for it. Honestly, the PV was obnoxious. It looked good, but at the same time, the announcer, oh my gosh, the announcer, it was, it sounded like, uh, the microphone guy from My, my Hero Academia, it probably is him, so, too much, just dial it down a little bit, but, yeah, looking forward to that one. Some kind of interesting news, Variety has reported that Toho International is going to be launching two North America e-commerce sites. These sites will be going live in summer. One is focused on the Godzilla franchise, while the other one is named Easel which is going to be stocking original Japanese merchandise for anime fans. This includes merch from Toho Animation, as well as including merch from My Hero Academia, Spy Family, Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, and Chainsaw Man. So, really cool. I'm always kind of open to these more merch-related types of sites. I mean, yes, Right Stuff has a lot of merch on it. Crunchyroll has a lot of merch on their site. But more availability is really cool because there's a lot of really cool stuff in Japan that we just never get over here. Like, cool t-shirts and stuff like that. The question mark is going to be, since it is an international e-commerce site, hopefully the cost of shipping and stuff like that is pretty decent, or maybe they have some sort of shipping set up for maybe free shipping or something like that, just to make it kind of worth it. Because that's always really the big slug in the stomach when it comes to buying merch from Japan. Finally, our last bit of news, Hajime Kamoshida has stated in a closing statement in Rascal Does Not Dream of Santa Claus that the light novel series is entering its final arc. So it looks like things are finally wrapping up for this light novel series. We'll see. Well, don't really know how long the final arc could be, but sad news, good news, depending on who you ask. And that's it. That's all the news I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this news bit. If you did, make sure that like button down below, comment. Let me know what's the most interesting bit of news in this news bit for you. Additionally, if you're new to this channel, make sure that subscribe button so you get my content. I do news reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you like this content and you want to support it more, I have a Patreon link, tips, links, super thanks, and membership button down below. I greatly appreciate everybody it does, and y'all take care.